Um, talking about 45, 45, 90 triangles here. We're continuing on with that. Next video will be 30, 60, 90 triangles. And we'll also have some problem sets for you to try. Now this video is actually the first problem set about 45, 45, 90 triangles. Now just to remind you, it's always a good idea to, to watch the previous video if you haven't already. But we talked about how 45, 45, 90 triangles have congruent legs and the hypotenuse is always radical 2 times longer. All right, that's basically all you need to know. Congruent legs and a radical 2 times the legs gives you the hypotenuse. All right, let's try a couple of problems here. And I want you to look at number 3. Numbers 3 and 4 and actually 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let's have you try all four of these and then I'll flip the page and we'll go over the answers. Go ahead and pause the video and give it a try. We're going to start with a pretty simple one and that is number 3. The leg is 8 so y must be also 8. Okay, pretty simple. And then the hypotenuse x is 8 radical 2. All right, it's always radical 2 times longer. All right, now let's look at number 4. Um, notice that the leg is labeled 4 radical 2. So this other leg, v, must also be 4 radical 2. Now to get the hypotenuse u, we're going to take 4 radical 2, which is the leg, and we're going to multiply it by radical 2. The hypotenuse is always radical 2 times longer. So radical 2 times radical 2 is radical 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. In other words, multiplying a radical 2 by itself gets rid of the radical sign. So we really have 4 times 2, which would be 8. All right, so we just have to kind of mess with that radical symbol a little bit. All right, number 5. You can see the answers here, and here's why. If the leg here is 7 radical 2 over 2, then the other leg, y, has to be the same. Okay, that's pretty simple. Now the hypotenuse is radical 2 times longer, so we have the leg, 7 radical 2 over 2, times radical 2. Okay. Which is 7 times 2, because radical 2 times radical 2 is radical 4, which simplifies to 2. And we have a 2 on the bottom, of course, which cancels out. So that's why our hypotenuse is just simply 7. Okay, it looks a little more complicated than it is. And finally, number 6, the hypotenuse is 7. And remember, that's already radical 2 times longer, so we have to divide it by radical 2 in order to find each leg. All right, now here's how we get the answer. We have to rationalize the denominator, so we have to multiply top and bottom by radical 2. And when I do that, on the top I get 7 radical 2. And as you've seen before, whenever you take a radical times itself, that gives you 2, okay? So that's why u and v are 7 radical 2 over 2. Okay, it's a little bit complicated. You just have to double check and work with the radicals and make sure you rationalize the denominator. All right, now I hope that this helped you with your studies. And this is problem set number one. Moving on, next video to 30, 60, 90 triangles.